In a recent video, a viewer suggested a fascinating idea for a new topic. New York City street names. These are the streets of New York City that are named after individuals. But many of us pass by these signs without knowing the stories behind them. This suggestion from Jericho's Journeys resonated with me as it aligns perfectly with the essence of my channel, uncovering unique stories about New York City. Let's start right here on Fresh Pond Road in Richwood, Queens at the corner of Scott Charles Timms Avenue. Scott Charles Timms was a 28-year-old man who worked on the 92nd floor of One World Trade Center. On September the 11th, 2001, he tragically became one of the victims of the terrorist attacks, leaving behind a wife and daughter. Scott was a local resident of Ridgewood. Adjacent to Scott Charles Timms Avenue is Cavaliere Peter Cardello Way. Mr. Cardella, also a Ridgewood resident, was a passionate advocate for the senior citizen community. In 1974, he founded the Ridgewood Senior Citizen Centre, located on this same corner, which is also named in his honour. He also established the Italian Cultural Centre at St John's University and organised the annual Italian Street Fair on this stretch of Fresh Pond Road in Ridgewood, Queens for 18 years. Having lost all of my family members in recent years, including both parents and both brothers, I deeply understand the importance of preserving memories. There is a beautiful song that resonates with me deeply on a personal level. It is called Dear Name by my favourite Korean singer, IU. The song suggests that if you say a person's name, they will never be forgotten. When I started this project, I thought about this song because the message holds the same principle. By honouring the names of these people, they will never be forgotten. I hope the translated English lyrics accompanying the song, which I've linked in a pinned comment, will hold a special meaning for you as well. It is such a wonderful song. Moving to the next intersection, we find a tribute to two fallen police officers from the NYPD. Patrolman Charles J. Reynolds Way honours a brave officer assigned to the 116th Precinct, which is now the 104th Precinct. On July 26, 1923, Patrolman Reynolds and Patrolman Frank Romanella were killed while on duty after arresting several men in a taxi cab. Their tragic story unfolded on the 59th Street Bridge, where they followed a taxi to help a woman in distress. Unfortunately, they were shot and killed by one of the taxi's occupants near 64th Street and 2nd Avenue as they rode on the outside of the cab. Patrolman Reynolds' horse, Inspector, was stabled at this very corner where the street now bears his name. This dedication took place last month, in April 2024, marking 101 years since his passing. Soon, another fallen officer, Patrolman Joseph W. Norden, will also be honoured at this intersection. Patrolman Norden was shot and killed on Woodward Avenue in Ridgewood, Queens, by an emotionally disturbed suspect whom he was escorting from an apartment. Despite the tragic end to his service, Patrolman Norden's legacy will live on through this upcoming street naming. Patrolman Norden had served with the New York City Police Department for five years, assigned to the 104th Precinct. 
He was survived by his pregnant wife and their two children. The 104th precinct is just one block away from this intersection, and it is where we are now heading to. At the time of his murder, Patrolman Norden was living on this very block, opposite to the police station. Right, there used to be a street sign right on this one right here. I think I've got some old footage of the lady who was had the street name for her. She was a victim of 9-11-2001. She worked at the World Trade Center. Maybe on the next block they've moved the street sign. But like I said, if not, I'll... Uh, I was slotted in from previous footage that I had. Now while I'm here to end this video, as you can see this is the YMCA, but this used to be the Queens County Courthouse, which opened in 1931. And the reason I'm picking this one is this courthouse was featured in the movie The Wrong Man, starring Henry Fonda. And if I can get the image in correctly, there's an, actually por an actual portion of the video where Henry Fonda is walking through this gate right here, and then he heads up here. Just one of those little tidbits that I know. Now I don't know if this building was built in 1929, but I know the NYPD moved in here in 1929. <coughs> one piece of foresight that they didn't plan on back in 1929 was obviously parking I guess back then they didn't have as much need for parking so unfortunately they pretty much have to park wherever they can find a spot now in 1929 when they made this or when they moved into this building if they had the foresight they perhaps could have arranged some uh, parking spaces. Anyway, that'll round up the video today. Just a little short video on the street names of New York City. And as I go on, I'm going to be filming... Whenever I see a street name, I'm going to go ahead and film it. Alright, that'll wrap up guys. Bye for now.